Hi everybody, this is Carla from Cycle CPA, your landscaping accountant. And today I'm going to talk about three financial statements you should all be aware about. And that is the balance sheet, income statement, and the statement of cash flows. And currently we're looking at a balance sheet. A balance sheet is a financial statement that reports a company's assets, liabilities and shareholders equity at a specific point in time it provides a basis for computing re rate on of return and evaluating the capital structure of that business so that's the purpose of a balance sheet so first off over here on the left hand side we're looking at assets and what you're going to see first is current assets on every balance sheet. So current assets are assets that um, are not gonna extend over a year. So that's something like cash, um, accounts receivable, you're gonna collect that within the year, inventory, you're gonna sell that within the year, supplies and prepaid. And then there's long-term assets that are gonna ex that are gonna benefit your company for more than a year. So those are things like land, a building, equipment and tools, trucks that you may have. Those are assets. Those are long-term assets that are gonna benefit your business for more than a year, and that's why they're in that section. And then there are also intangible assets, if you have any patents or trade names, anything of that sort, things that you cannot touch, it's going to go here, in, intangible. Um, then on the right-hand side, you'll see current liabilities. So notes or things that you owe that are due less than a year. So um, accounts payable, you're going to pay off. Um, in less than a year, taxes, wages, things like that. Long-term liabilities, liabilities that are due longer than a year. So if you have a mortgage on an office, on a building, that's going to go here. And then you get your totals. Um, after that, you're going to see your stockholders equity section. That's the owner's equity in the business and that consists of initial equity, retained earnings, and other comprehensive income. So the stockholders equity section is going to depend on what kind of entity you are. So if you're a partnership, it's going to say members equity. It's just going to have different names. If you're a sole proprietorship, it's going to say um, common equity, so it might not, it's just going to say something and then equity, it might be different for different entities, the name, but all in all, it's called stockholders equity section. And I will be going more in depth into every financial statement in a later video. So this is the income statement um, and income statement. You're going to see it for a period of time, normally for a calendar year. So January to December. And it starts off with sales um, for the year. And then you can see comparison um, of past years as well. You're going to have your operating expenses, so expenses that you have in running the business on a daily basis, such as wages, marketing, office um, expenses, etc. So you're going to have your sales minus all your expenses, and you're going to have your net income for the year. The next financial statement is the statement of cash flows. And this is my favorite statement because it shows you an accurate picture 
of where your cash is going. I have a lot of clients, they say, I don't know where my cash is, where is my cash going? And this statement helps you um, see exactly where your cash is. So the statement of cash flow starts off with net income. So these are two different statements. So basically it would start off with 596 over here instead of the 23,000, but it starts off with net income and it adds back any non-cash expense. So depreciation expense is depreciation on your truck, for example. So you're going to depreciate your truck over X number of years, but that's just an accounting expense. It's not a cash expense. So depreciation expense, it's not something that you paid. It's just an accounting expense. So that's going to be added back. Accounts receivable increase in accounts receivable would um, be subtracted out. Um, decrease in inventory would be added back. Decrease in accounts payable would be subtracted back. So any non-cash expense would be added back. Any cash expense would be deducted out. And the cash flow statement has three sections. It has cash flow from operating activities, which is your daily expenses of running the business. You have cash flow of investing activities, which, um, for example, if you sold your truck, that counts as an investing activity because when you first bought your truck, that was considered an asset. So if you sold it now, and if you sold it for $7,000, you are going to add back the $7,000 because you got cash for that. Then it also has cash flow of from financing activities. So if you have borrowed any money from the bank, you're going to add that money in. If you paid any money back to the bank from any borrowings, you're going to subtract that out. And then at the end of the year, you're going to have cash at the end of the year. And this number is going to match exactly what's on your bank statement. And what's cool about all these financial statements is that they all reconcile and tie in together. So like I said, net income is going to tie into the cash flow up here. Um, accounts receivable, inventory, accounts payable, all comes from the balance sheet. Accounts payable, accounts receivable, and they all flow and tie into the cash flow statement in order to give you a true cash number for the end of the year. So like I said, I will be going more in depth into each statement and Please comment below if you would like for me to go in more in depth into a particular statement um, or any other questions that you may have. Okay, hope this really helped you guys give um, like a bird's eye view of all these statements and have a nice day.